This afternoon, the Sada will talk about the next factor of enlightenment called piti in the Pali language, which can perhaps be translated as rapture. The previous factor of virya or effort is a subject which can, which has a lot of scope in it. But, uh, it seems that if we spend too much time on that, we may not be able to finish the rest of the, uh, factors. Therefore, the Sada will now talk on the factor of rapture. Piti or rapture has the characteristic of happiness, delight, and uh, satisfaction. Rapture by itself as a mental state has these characteristics. But it also has the characteristic of making associated mental states delightful uh, and uh, happy as well as feel a deep sense of satisfaction. ไม่ได้อยู่ยังว่าไม่ได้ตัวนี้สิ่งสิ่งเหล่านี้สิ่งหาอากรรมเปลี่ยนหน้าตัวอะไรสิ่งเดียวของยูก้องยูตันนี่
So the function of rapture is to pervade those qualities, uh, to make those qualities pervasive in the mind and body. Its manifestation is seen in the actual uh, sensations of lightness that occurs in the body. When the rapture occurs, the coarse and um, uncomfortable sensations are replaced by something very soft and gentle, velvet smooth and light. There is a lightness in the body which at times make you feel as though you're floating in the air. At times, there is uh, the lightness is not so still, but it's a bit more active. You feel as though you're being pushed or pulled, like your body is swaying to and fro or rocking up and down. Sometimes you feel as though you are traveling on uh, on the surface of very rough waves. But it's a very pleasant feeling. It's like you're off balance sometimes due to this uh, lightness in the body and mind. So this is the manifestation of rapture. It is manifested very clearly through physical sensations. There are five types of rapture and the sadha will go through each one of them uh, in due course. The first is called lesser rapture. During the beginning part of practice, after a yogi has successfully kept the hindrances at bay for sufficient periods of time, he or she may begin to experience uh, chills of pleasure which cause goosebumps or goose flesh and it's a very pleasant sort of feeling, thrilling. This is the lesser rapture as it is just one of the very uh, beginnings of uh, rapturous feelings. Um, the next type of rapture is called momentary rapture. It comes in flashes like flashes of lightning and uh, it is a bit more intense then lesser rapture.
ไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไอ้เนี่
แปลว่าปีกีอาเกาเนี่ยปีกีเรียกว่า The commentaries classify the first three types of rapture as pamoja, which means, uh, which is again explained as weak rapture. The last two types of rapture, however, are rightly called b t which is again further explained as A strong rapture. Because of the causes for arousing rapture, uh, was dealt with. By the Buddha, and according to the Buddha, there is only one cause, and that is wise attention. Giving wise attention to um, being effortful in uh, trying to bring about such wholesome rapture, such wholesome rapturous feelings. Which are connected with the Buddha Dharma and the Sangha. The scriptures also tell us that um, the first three types of rapture are the cause for the remaining two types of rapture to arise. They serve as the uh, stepping stones, so to speak, for stronger rapture. To develop. t a v a r a m a a a r a a a a r a a a a a The commentaries tell us of seven ways to arouse uh, rapture. a d i s a t a m y u l a g a p a t a m a z o t a m y u g a a u d a n u s a d i v a ดิโลดิโลกุณีเนี่ยที่จงมาวิเรศราวะนี่ศาสนาคุณโอริอายุจุฬาวะเวคุณโอระวะเวผิดๆคุณโอมยะเวผิดๆสั้นเหงาเห
Even though you may not be familiar with the traditional uh, classification of the virtues of the Buddha, you could perhaps reflect on the three accomplishments of the Buddha which Kusara talked about recently. The accomplishment of cause, of result, and of service to all beings. When you are able to uh, reflect on how accomplished the Buddha is, how full, how fully accomplished he is, then you can perhaps be filled by great joy and rapture. When a yogi attains to the insight of the rise and fall of phenomena, it will no longer be necessary to deliberately uh, develop this recollection of the Buddha's virtues. During, when one attains to that state of insight, that stage of insight, uh, rapture will arise of itself very naturally. For it is said that one who sees the Dharma sees the Buddha. ကိုယ်ကြာညစွာဘုရားညင်ကြတဲ့အတိုင်းအာထုတ်လို့ပြည့်စုံနေရင်အကြမ်းအလှအနုကိလေတာတွေထိုက်တာသမျှကိဝစ
ยะกุนอาวุธิเรศรามยะมยะวุธิไหนนี่เจ้าหนอมะสวาคาตะกองสวาโหอะเตตะยะศรามกองสวาโหอะเตศรามอีตะยะจินจินยอกยะไหนเ
ตมาริติกาจินิสราชีวะเลยอะริตมาริติกาจินิญูเนไดนะอาทุกิญูเนนาติยะติกิเวสินเจเวสิติทุวิชาจาติงมุ่ยลาราเวปะตมะสันติย
ยินเจตวาเลยยินเจปิจตวาเลยยินได้บ่ดิยินได้ยกตัวไปสวยดีๆนี่อะโดลุไม่อยากพูดอย่างนี้ขึ้นไปแล้วดีๆจุ๋
So the greatness of the Dharma in the middle is the happiness that can be seen and the happiness that can be experienced through the practice of sila and samadhi. Finally, the greatness of the Dharma can be seen in uh, the practice of wisdom, which will eventually lead to enlightenment. When uh, one attains to nibbana, when the experience, when the experience of succession of uh, mind and matter is attained, then one says that uh, this is the point which is a reflection of the greatness of the Dharma at the end. This is also, this is a very um, important event because when Nibbana is realized, it can, this uh, experience can bring about profound changes in one's own life. It's like being reborn when you're still alive or uh, turning into a new leaf, as you would say. A person who has faith, but who is not uh, yet experienced in meditation, or who has no meditation practice at all, may be able to experience some degree of rapture if he contemplates on uh, the greatness of the Dharma in these three aspects. With practice, however, you can imagine how much more rapture can be uh, experienced. <laughs> Sarah intended to talk on all of the six virtues of the Dharma. He is confident that if he did that, uh, the yogis, uh, with some of the yogis here who are having deep practice, will be able to appreciate very greatly these uh, qualities of the Dharma. However, if uh, he were to do that, uh, we wouldn't have enough time to complete the talk. The third factor is that of recollection of the virtues of the Sangha. The Sangha here, of course, refers to those noble individuals who, being totally committed to the Dharma, have uh, strived earnestly and patiently to attain the various levels of enlightenment. They have followed the path in a straight and correct way and have arrived at their respective destinations. (laughs) 
ตามาเนี่ยมันเลยว่าอู้ตะกุลุติปะบาวนาเตียริอาทุลุอีลาตวาริปัญญาจินเตียริโกมาปิสุเนยะจันลานุกิริตาริไทตันตะมะกิณี
ตีละมะปิสงโลชีกุกุปยามิตะสิงสามิเดขะอามะยาบุปิติกะเสภุปิติกะเสตตะทัตตันสะเสตเตตมะริปัญญาเตยะเรอาถุลุยะบุมะล
pile up your foundation of uh, purity and conduct. This is all. The Sada will continue tonight. Thank <laughs> you.